channel. This video is a little bit different from my usual videos because in this video we're talking about Anki. I am assuming in this video that you do have the basic knowledge on how to use Anki and how the interface and the program works. If you don't, just let me know and I'm happy to help you out with it. Or there are plenty of other YouTube accounts that have made excellent videos on the topic as well. But in this video, we're going to focus on the On King step deck and all of the pre made cards that come with it, and how to suspend, resuspend, how to organize material from previous blocks when you're trying to review old stuff, but you're also learning new stuff and you don't want to get confused. So we're going to go through all of that, especially because there's, there's a lot to see within the On King step deck. So I have Anki open here already, and this is my Anking step deck. So when I have cards due, they're all going to pop up over here. I already did these due cards for the day, but they're going to pop up over here. But I want to click this browse button. So when I click browse, it takes me to this huge database. And you can see all the decks over here. But I'm going to keep scrolling until I see a change in the icon which I have a lot of decks in here, so, okay. So now we see a change in the icon, right? We're in these little tagged areas. So we're gonna scroll until we see Anki, the Anking deck. And if you're having trouble finding it, like I am right now, there is a sidebar filter here. You can just type what you want right into there. So remember, I don't want this icon. I'm looking for the tagged icon. Here we go. AK Step 1 version 12. So this is the version that I have downloaded from Reddit. And you see all these hashtags underneath. You have a hashtag amboss. This means all of the cards that have been pre-made based on the Amboss subscription, those are all going to pop up here. So if I click on that drop-down arrow, you see all these different tags. And they are all are going to have different cards based on the different questions or content from Amboss. Same with B&B, &B, which is Boards and Beyond. You see how it's all broken up based on all the modules in Boards and Beyond. And you have on-key cards. So what I like to do is that as I watch any of these resources, I like to unsuspend the Anki cards in here. So how do we do that? So let's go to Bootcamp, for example. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Neurology. I like Neurology. Okay, and let's go to Embryology. Say I just watched this Notochord video on Bootcamp, and now I need to unsuspend this material so that I, I can start learning it and I can start committing it to memory and so that I don't forget as time goes on. So I'm going to click on note accord and see how everything is highlighted in yellow. If it's highlighted in yellow, that means that it is suspended. So when I go over here, everything's zeroed out here because this is all suspended. So nothing's popping up over here for me to do. How do we unsuspend? So we are going to go here, click select all, so edit, select all. You're going to right click or double click if you're on a Mac. And there's this toggle suspend button. We're going to click that. Now when we click that, you see it's not highlighted anymore. That means we unsuspended this material. So when I go over here, that material is going to pop up. Normally, the material will pop up here in blue in the new section, but it did pop up under the green do section because I did do those cards before in the past. Okay, so as we continue to watch modules in any of those resources that are in the Onking deck, which is a good amount, we're going to start to unsuspend the material and then come here and then we can get started with Onkying. Now, what if I have a lot of stuff in here in the Onking step deck, a lot of block information that I'm working on, but now I have just finished that block. So say I had Neuro and now I'm done with Neuro and now I'm working on another current block. So 
and I don't want all of that to merge together. Like I want my blocks to be separate from what I'm doing currently. So a way to do that is, you can see I, I already have a hint here. I made a separate deck for Nephro, but let's make a separate deck for Neuro too. And I usually just call it on King, the name of the block. So I have on King Neuro. I'm gonna come back here and once I'm done with the neuro block, let's pretend this is all, all the material I needed for the neuro block. Once I'm done, because I'm going to start unsuspending new things that are going to come under Onking step deck, and that's going to be my current block, and I don't want the old neuro stuff getting mixed with my current stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, I'm going to select everything again, I'm going to double click if I'm on a Mac or right click on any other computer, and I'm going to click this change deck button. So when I click change deck, you can see there's so many decks here. You can see all the decks that I made last year for our in-house lectures. But I'm going to find the On King Neuro deck, and I'm going to click move cards. So now, they're still here. You can still see them under boot camp, under neurology, under embryology, under notochord. You can still see them. But the deck that they're in for me to start practicing or continue practicing, now it's On King Neuro. So I come here. My on king step deck is now empty, so it's ready to go with all my current material that I'm going to add for my current block. And now it's here in neuro. So that's how you can separate out the old blocks from the new blocks so that you're not getting confused and you can work on your current block in the morning when you wake up and then finish your old cards before you sleep or anything like that. Or other way around, you can make on king step deck your old block and you can make the mini blocks that the mini decks that you made over here you can make those your new blocks whatever works for you but that's how i like to do it and that's basically it for this video just how to unsuspend and suspend how to change decks um, let me know if you have any questions or if i can clarify anything and thank you so much